Well, good afternoon, gang. Tuesday afternoon here. I was running around this morning, uh, just getting some shopping done, things I had to get done. So I'm out here. It's about uh, about lunchtime or something like that, and it's 32 degrees out. Uh, what it said before I bundled up to come out here. Um, so yeah, pretty cold. Northeast is getting hammered right now with a crazy, crazy snowstorm, but. Really, like I've said a hundred times, it's wash, rinse, repeat here with this. I've got my last log that's up top here that I'm going to be able to mill this morning. I'm going to knock that out, and then I'm going to head down the hill and start grabbing some of those other logs. So I'll bring you guys along for that ride. But uh, a lot of just milling and stuff, so I'll spare you the repetitiveness of it. And uh, yeah, well, I'm here working. Let's get it. All right, gang, we're heading downhill now. We're heading down to the other log pile. Time to get some more. Time to get get some more logs from the mill. My idea is now just to kind of roll these out in the open, back the log arch over it, and get it up the hill. Let's do it.
still with me here, you just saw me take down that uh, larger kind of log down from down in the camping area here. So these were 10 inch boards and they are absolutely beautiful. Got some with some live edge on it there, but otherwise they are fantastic looking. So what I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine boards out of that. Some of them, you know, will have to be ripped down. This one's got quite a bit of live edge on it. And there were some that were down here as well, part of it. But, uh, yeah. Oh. Sorry, tarp swinging around. So, yeah, it, uh, it was great. And, uh, well, we fixing to go down and do it again. Let's get it. Well, it took two tries, but that some bitch got up there. Whew. Second one, I just realized when I picked up the camera, I wedged my leg behind this. And I was able to get good leverage with that. Whereas on the first attempt, my front foot was sliding. But if you, oh, that's a workout. But if you look at the log, if you noticed as I was pulling it up, this end was much more closer. This, it actually started to pivot like that. And so this end had a chance if it kept rolling to actually drop off here inside. And that is an absolute nightmare. It's a pain to get that straightened out. And well, that's what was happening. That happened a couple times. I don't think I ever showed you guys when I hooked the four wheeler up, like, you know, Normally I have the log arch over here and I connect it to the winch and I winch it up that way. Well, same exact thing, except the portion that I wrap around and connect to the, to the winch, I connected it to the four wheeler. And when I drove forward, what you saw just kind of happen, happened more than once. And that was the log just got crooked and it fell down within the log rack itself and you know an hour and a half later i finally got the log repositioned and you know had to go through it all again so this is probably the largest log i'll pull up uh unfortunately for me most of them down there are about this size so uh let's let's give this a check here let me let me grab my tape So this is the fat end, and it's about 15. 
around about 15. So, well, I'll have to keep that in mind. All right, time for a wash and then time for milling.
All right, gang, just got start, done uh, stacking that last log that I brought up there from the bottom. It, the yield out of that was 10 inch wide boards, and I got, let me, three, six, seven, eight, nine, I got 10 of them. 10 one by tens out of that one log, which is fantastic. So, and most of them were, were really good. Uh, of course, tops and bottoms, there is some live edge here. Uh, that'll get ripped off or used in some decorative way. So, yeah, those turned out great. On to the next one. It's back down here at the pile. And, well, giant elephant in the room. I've got to knock this pile down. So, I put in my little wheel chalk there to stop it earlier. But now I really just need to really just need to let these things roll out and plenty of room over here let's see plenty of room over here in this area for them really just to roll over even if they roll over to here and hit that wood pile that's that's no big deal i just need to get them out of this configuration uh so we'll see what happens i'm not anticipating they're all going to roll down but certainly this is not a you know it's not going to be crazy. It's not safe. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, yeah. Well, hold my beer. Watch this. went about as good as could be expected so I think that uh, those other ones it's, it's gonna be fine just take them down kind of a little piece at a time and that uh, that should be fine still dangerous I'll you know but so one rolled down there and then the other rolled here and stopped there hit that uh, old stump so all right next log up one modification that I am trying out right now and I had another snatch block back in the shed and I'm gonna give it a try see if it you know that I think that's is that a two to one on there the way that's rigged up so I'm gonna see if this makes lifting these a little easier because there is quite a bit of tension as you can imagine on that winch when I pull these up and any slip of my hand and that thing goes flying. So I'm going to uh, give this a try and see, see how it happens. So what I'm gonna connect to that hook there will be, I'm gonna wrap a chain around the log itself. So we'll see how this goes. So when I line this up to rig it, 
I try and get this edge of the log pretty close to this end of this part of the, the log arch. And that usually allows the, now this is a 10 foot log, so the back is definitely gonna lift up, but the front of course is gonna drag down a little bit because I'm beyond halfway towards the rear. But the front is relatively light because of just, just the lever that is created by lifting it up at that point there. Okay, let me set this up and we'll see, see how my new snatch block works. It was a little, I'm a little too far back. That, that, that's the wide end up there. That was pretty heavy on the front, but uh, this, this worked out great. I need to find a better way to attach that, but I think that worked out great. All right, let's get up the hill. The log is all set up there at the edge of the ramp to get it up top. I'm, there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to pull that up there. So I'm actually going to use that snatch block on my winch right there. So I get half the distance. So I'm going to have to connect that hook to the loop that's on the end of that uh, toe strap right there of what I've been pulling these up with. So I think I'm just going to use, yeah, I got a 20 foot section of heavy duty chain and I, that should bridge the gap. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. So here's, here's what it looks like. It's super sketch. <laughs> so I've got the snatch block connected to a piece of chain, which is connected to the end, the loop end of the toe strap. So I have this distance to cover. The, the, the winch is almost out of wire or cable. So I just about max this thing out. And this snatch block can get caught up on 50 different things in the first three feet. So I've got to watch that. And I don't, I'm, I'm going to have to figure this out, but I don't know if there's enough slack between the snatch block and the end of the log arch. Will this distance pull the log completely up the ramp? If it's like a foot short or something, I'm just gonna have to get get the uh, four wheeler and just pull it forward. So let's see.
talking there. So I've only got, you know, another two feet here till that snatch block won't go any further. But the log itself is really maybe just past halfway up, halfway up the ramp. So, well, yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to pull the four-wheeler forward and hope it... You know, history does not repeat itself, so we'll see how this we'll see how this works out. The good news is all the chain and the strap and everything is about six inches off. Now when I pull forward, I go down a little bit, so we'll see. I definitely don't want to pull it so hard that if this chain gets caught on my track here, it, it, it sends it out of true, which <laughs> we don't even want to talk about that. All right, guys, let's go. Well, I did think it. I said, well, what I was thinking to myself, what if I get this thing rolling pretty good and it just kind of rolls forward and just glad it hit those, uh, hit those things and stopped. So, okay, well, this is, uh, this is a pretty good size one. Let's get a measurement on this base down here. Uh, yeah, 18, 19 or so out to the outside of the bark. That's a pretty good size. There's no way in hell I was gonna pick that up myself. All right, guys, time to get to work.
Well, that's the last log for the day here, and that uh, actually turned out great. I made a little boo-boo. I was supposed to take one more cut off the side. Uh, that would have made them 10-inch boards. These are 11 inches wide, so a little wider than kind of what I want, but, you know, it is what it is. We'll see how they turn out. So, other than that, everything went great. You saw me running the mill without the guards on the front here. Uh, I'm running into problems. I'm realizing that this... Uh, I don't know. Let's see if we can see it a little bit. Yeah, this corduroy looking pattern through here That is caused by this roller. That's right there. Let me focus a little bit That's caused by that roller right there. That roller gets bound up with sawdust and it creates when it rolls it jumps the blade it bounces the blade and that's what is causing this corduroy uh through the board so you may have seen me if you're really paying attention you probably saw me reach in there with my little uh wire brush and kind of knock the junk off every once in a while but when i have the guards off of the front the dust seems to the sawdust doesn't seem to come out of just a few holes uh it, it just kind of comes out of everywhere so it's you know i'm trying to figure out what I can do to eliminate that so at least while I have it I've already ordered the ceramic guides for those so they'll be getting replaced but in the meantime I'm still sawing wood here so yeah here's a good example here along the side yeah all that corduroy pattern there that's all because that wheel is bouncing Guys, that's going to be it for today. It's late. It's like 6.30, 7 o'clock maybe. I still got the fire going over there. I'm just now finishing up the board, so I got to get this dusted off and get them stacked. I got the... It's going to be a nice day tomorrow, so I should be able to just leave most of my stuff out here, but still got to, you know, clean up. Got to clean up the sawdust and all this other stuff. So, anyway, it's a good day. I'm not quite sure how long this one's going to be. I, I filmed quite a bit today, and yeah, well, we'll see if you guys like it. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow.